I'm Susan Proctor Hume. I'm an artist. I live in Komaki in South Africa and I'm working on my art career right now. I started out doing interiors. I come from an artistic family. My mother's an artist. Um, I I never studied art and I always worked to earn money in order to survive. Um, but a couple of years ago I I had to just stop all of that and do something that would keep me sane, which was art. If I if I had carried on just working to earn a living in order to pay the bills, I think I would actually be dead by now. I work in various different genres. I do printmaking, or I can do it. I do collages, I work in oil paints, I work in ceramic. I really enjoy working with ceramics and glass and mosaic. I think I really love working, doing collage work. And the reason for that is um, you can use something that's been made before and reinvent it. You can put a message across by using writing on it that somebody else was advertising. You can turn it around into a whole new message. Um, so I really do like working with art on paper that is layered and level, levels of, of various depths of colour and texture. Okay, I like art with a message. Um, what I have done is a couple of different bodies of work in collage. I did um, a series called Things I Found on the Beach, which is plastics that I've layered and worked um, with other mediums and created artworks that I've actually been able to donate to some amazing causes. Currently there's one for a girl, Caroline Hanks, which is working with the Two Oceans Aquarium because of all the turtles that have been found dying or dead with I mean they operated on them there was so much plastic inside their stomachs. So I've currently got an auction, a silent auction going for that to raise funds for that cause. And the other body of work of collages is called Endangered Me and it's a lot about endangered species and big designer brand names. So you will see on all the endangered me antelope that are either rare or extinct, you will see names of big brands that I've actually incorporated into the into the images of the antelope or the rhino or whatever the species is. I'm also very concerned about um, the dog meat eating which has actually been almost completely eliminated in Korea due to activism work um, and I've been very involved on the periphery of that by doing posters for that sort of thing and then another big uh, passion of mine is in Taiji in Japan they have um, a lot of dolphin and whale slaughter, dolphin slaughter, they eat dolphin meat. So I also did a poster for a cause about that and I wrote in Japanese on it. Um, yeah, so a lot of the collages that I do and the art that I do ha has a message. It's actually not just a pretty flower on a wall. Right now I'm busy doing a series of Asian girls. So they are Asian girls faces and Asian girls bodies and figurative and portrait type work and that will be coming together later on next year maybe hopefully I'll be able to exhibit it somewhere. I am a controversial artist at heart uh, however I tend to suppress that because I have offended a few people with my Buddha Macy that I painted some years ago. Well it was in my um, painting or collage called Buddha Macy was about my childhood and my life. Uh, we were an English speaking family living in Randburg area and all our neighbours were Afrikaans and we had these amazing people with strong values and morals and ideas. So uh, we went to the Pinkster Protestanta Kirk. My parents took us. We were the only English people in the church. Um, so you will see words like Pinkster and Heilige Geest and those sort of words in this artwork. 
Um, we were also a little bit uh, subject to some kind of brainwashing and um, had values which I don't have right now, but it was a very important part of my life and had a big effect on my life. And the Afrikaans community, as well as the fact that my father went to Takis and spoke Afrikaans, and so we had these our amazing neighbor, Tony Els, Dermony Cronier, and everyone that was local in the churches, the cook sisters, we used to go to uh, fates where everybody would eat pancakes and cook sisters and sing and wear busby hats. It was an amazing part of my childhood and it influenced and affected me and gave me a background on a very powerful community, Afrikaans community. So this painting is called Burume Si and it's about that, the fear clear, the history, um, the love and respect that the Afrikaans community have for certain uh, ways of thinking, although I think things have changed since then. So I'm invested in this life and it's very rewarding. And what I do find most satisfying is people actually appreciating it. So it doesn't really matter whether somebody buys a painting on drawing on paper for 100 Rand or something for 100,000 Rand. The fact that they want my art on their wall is a very good endorsement and it's very encouraging and it's I'm very grateful that those people can see something in it that they want to have present that they look at every day. I don't like acrylics, to be honest with you. I've never been able to enjoy working with acrylics. I know a lot of other artists do, and they use mediums to slow down the drying time so that they can make work with the acrylic more. I, I like the whole experience of working with oil paint. I like the... Um, the blending of the colours, the blending of the mediums, and the application to the canvas, and the way that I can do fine sort of squares or soft blending. Um, I really love working with oil paint. My personal struggles have become a part of some of my art. I don't feel I need to be heart-wrenching and soulful in everything I do. Some of the work I do is simply just a literal impression of whether it's a vase or a vessel. You will see uh, one or two where you'll have a fist or a person shouting help or my fly and swim print which is a woman floating in the sea with the black velvet sky above her and you just see the light reflecting in the water. So there are those and people can read whatever they want to into it. I've got a few self-portraits that I've done that um, are very clearly self-portraits. But I haven't really reached a stage where I think it's necessary to always be going through a struggle and in pain. I'm quite happy to paint just an object that um, is aesthetically pleasing to me. It's just a thing in itself. It's not. It's not necessary that it always has to have some incredibly deep and painful meaning. I'd maybe like to just add that I think it's very important to be part of the art community. Um, I think it's, it's very, it's vital to engage with art artists and people in the art world that are not competing, but in solidarity. Um, I've learned more that way than a lot of people have learned by studying. Uh, I am very fortunate to have an amazing group of fantastic artists that I can cross-pollinate with and um, they give me encouragement or criticise me, which is welcome. And so I think the art community is very important. I, I've also met up with and linked up with artists in other places in the world, which I've ended up exhibiting with in London and various places. So 
my art network, my artist network, and my few galleries that I know of, I think are very important. You know, one can't be too isolated. Um, and I've also learned to find out which artists are really genuinely supportive of each other and who is actually competing. <laughs> you know, there are some that do compete or that try to tear each other down. So yeah, I think it's good to have support, it's good to have solidarity, it's good to have honest feedback. Um, but at the end of the day, as an artist, you're on your own, you know, it's quite a lonely world. It's not one way, I mean, I'm far happier on my own than continuously engaging with human beings. I'm very happy in my head, I'm very happy in my own space, and I often find people coming into my space are a very big interruption. And I think it's very difficult for artists even to have relationships because a relationship drains something from you sometimes. You know, you have to respond, you have to reciprocate, you have to engage. My aspirations as an artist are just really to hopefully be recognized or be acknowledged and participate with other artists. One of the things I want to do is to start a workshop uh, with mentoring of artists that haven't got opportunities. Uh, I, I don't have very huge goals. I'm quite happy the space I'm at right now. Um, I take it one day at a time. I'm not as ambitious as I was when I was younger. So I'm now more sort of critical of the quality of what I produce as opposed to wanting to churn out work and be seen in big lights somewhere. I'm quite happy with where I am. And I also believe that if you do something well, people find you. If you work at it and you make a little bit of effort and you have to obviously work at the social media side of it, people should eventually find you. Artists are genuinely survivors. 